Now, it is my pleasure to make a special presentation to ACE's 2016 Student of the Year. This award is presented annually by ACE to an individual who has benefited academically or professionally from the use of ACE credit recommendations for workforce or military training. Recipients must demonstrate outstanding achievements in their community or workplace while successfully balancing demands such as family, career, and education. Our Student of the Year recipient certainly exemplifies those qualities. Tara Turley is a single mother and electrician from Tornado, West Virginia, who employed her skills to assist her flood-ravaged West Virginia community. She is finishing a five-year apprenticeship with the Charleston Electrical Apprenticeship Program. A high school graduate who lost her corporate management job five years ago in a company downsizing, she used ACE credit recommendations to gain college credit for many of her apprenticeship courses. Combined with credits from college courses taken in previous years, this helped Tara last year obtain a Board of Governors Associate in Applied Science degree at Bridge Valley Community and Technical College, where she also attended classes. She now plans to earn a bachelor's degree. It is a personal honor for me to present this award as the head of a community college district that also awards credit for electrical apprenticeship programs. Tara's commitment to her rigorous and demanding education should be an inspiration to non-traditional students everywhere. With Tara today are Thomas Samples, director of the Charleston Electrical Apprenticeship Program, and Eunice Bellinger, president at Bridge Valley. Tara, on behalf of ACE, it is my distinct pleasure to present you with this award along with a $1,000 scholarship to help you continue your education. Please welcome the ACE Student of the Year Award recipient, Tara Turley. I started thinking about what I was going to say when I got up here and searching for the right words. I started reflecting over the past few years and the word broken came to mind. When I looked it up, I found that Merriam-Webster lists many different meanings. Violated by transgression, disrupted by change, bankrupt, just to name a few. Five years ago, you could have added my name to that list because by all definitions, I was the poster child for broken. Today, however, I stand before you not only mended, but truly humbled and honored to accept this award. I would first like to thank my family for holding me up when I was at my lowest. Without their support and encouragement, I would not be where I am today. Secondly, I would like to thank the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers for arming me with the invaluable skills and knowledge that have allowed me to not only obtain a degree, but also give back in ways I never thought I could. Their dedication to workmanship and commitment to community are unmatched, and I feel so grateful to be a part of such a wonderful organization. Lastly, I would like to thank you, the American Council on Education, for your presence in the workforce. You have provided an avenue for adult learners like myself to not only achieve our dreams, but to leave our children with a legacy to be proud of. And even though this plaque has my name on it, it symbolizes so much just more than an award for me. It represents all the hardworking men and women that I stand next to every day in the field. It represents all the ones that I stood in the unemployment line with not so long ago. And most importantly, it represents possibility. This is proof that with enough hard work and determination and even a little brokenness, the possibility can become reality. Thank you. <laughs> 